From Wall Street to Main Street, this is L.A. Late. It's a big early morning. Morning of early mornings, L.A. with incredible great news about your fourth Simmons check update of 2021. And this incredible recording. We'll go over that recon that's going to become a law in the next seven days. So says Leader Schumer. Can he get it done? I will lay his details direct at the, from Santa Monica this morning. We'll go over that incredible recon that'll pay you a lot of checks, upwards of at least $15,000 that you're going to pounce as a verbal hawk and clean up in this incredible recon. And those recons details are going to the finish line. That recon is going to get passed, number one. And number two, set of changes are going in there. And number three, a lot of checks of upwards of $15,000. That is a Purple Hawk. You're going to clean up and get lots of money. But Purple Hawks have already been doing well this week with third stimulus, getting on average $5,000 of checks. I'm going to go over how you can get more checks if you've already gotten some and how to get them if you haven't gotten them already. We'll be turning then to the latest details you need to know across the board about that student loan debt forgiveness. The latest details on that, plus fifth stimulus and your COLA raise and 5.9% and what's going on with the SNAP decrease. Meantime, we'll be going over the breaking news of what happened with the Federal Reserve yesterday. It found its announcement what happened with Lita Schumer. The Joe Joe meeting yesterday, Joe Biden Joe, and Joe uh, Manchin. And the Raphael Warnock comments. The recon is going to become a law by the end of December unless some surprise happens. But the next 14 days is a nail biter. It really is. And that's why you can't miss a video or a day or a show anytime in the next 14 days. Because the vision going in and going out. And today, the Senate Parliamentarian may rule on the fate of several provisions. Those details and more as we go into a big early morning's broadcast. I'm excited you're here. And the excitement starts right here, right now, as early morning's LA gets underway. Direct from Santa Monica. Hey, good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day. And here we go. That recon is becoming a law and very exciting. The Senate changes will be robust because the toast is toasting. <laughs> and uh, the recon is going to be passing because the butter is buttering. <laughs> and the recon is going to pay a lot of money, upwards of $15,000 because the uh, cough is brewing. Those details and more coming up in the second half, half of this video. But you know where the bacon is right now. And you know that bacon is available right now from Third Stimulus. Lots of bacon. And boy, that Third Stimulus viewers are cashing out big cash checks across the board. All of all the details about those checks in this recording this morning, direct from Santa Monica, California. We're going to go over the big sums of checks, plus the latest details on that student loan debt forgiveness, what to know about that. And then the breaking details about that fifth Steelers, Cola Rays, Snap Decrease, and the Federal Reserve's announcement yesterday and what happened. And with that, I want you part of this incredible family. Go under this video right now and subscribe. I want you part of this growing channel of a lot of people that are getting massive sums of money. Go under this video right now and subscribe. 400,000 subscribers a YouTube, YouTube record in a year and growing by leaps and bounds ever since. Also, like the video, 2-3 thousand likes. Consider becoming a member. Get that incredible newsletter. And get it tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Monday through Friday. And also sign up for this LA Alerts, which is totally free and under the video as well. And with that, as we go into a big day with the toast toasting, the butter buttering, the coffee brewing, is that the recon has lots of checks in there for you. Oh boy, do they have a lot of checks. At least $15,000 with checks across three clusters and three add-ons. We're going to go over each of those checks right now with the first one happening across the board. Those recon checks are very robust and with a lot of provisions, and let's look at each of them starting right now. Remember, the checks pay on average about $15,000, but you're going to see very quickly it may be even more than that $15,000. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I just want to grab it, but oh, it just keeps on jumping. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, let's turn to the first class sure checks. Here we go. Uh, the hazard pay and the $4,000 of elder care got it in there. $4,000 of care for young children got it in there as well. The CTC got it in there. 
the home repairs are going to long term committee in there as well. Pell's Grand 550, and then the money to uh, repair your home if you're living in a low income community, and the $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle. Wow, incredible. The first add on comes to luscious Maxine Waters from here in Southern California. What did she get in there? She got in there the money to buy your first home. This is huge. She wanted to give you $25,000. It's just a little bit less. But yet, it is still incredible across the board. And that money is in that recon. Now, let's turn to the second cluster checks. Here we go. Home repairs and paid leave. Also in the second cluster is a lot of other deliciousness, including the universal pre-kindergarten and also the household tax credit. Now, when we talk about that, uh, this home repairs, this one is to weatherize your home. You have to weatherize your home because it's the holiday spirit. No, it's winterize your home and not weatherize your home. Winterize your home is to sustain natural disasters like when Mitch sings. <laughs> Weatherizing your, your home is when Mitch decorates with lobster decorations. <laughs> yeah, it's totally different. Uh, you'll understand it when you walk in and see there's just lobster ornaments everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the second add-on of checks. It comes from the incredible Bob Casey. He got that provision in there. And boy, did he want to get it in there. He did. $250 billion. It will be a little bit less. And what is this big money? It is money for purchase, uh, money for free home health care if you're on seniors or persons on disabilities. Let's go to the third cluster of checks. Here we go. Money for my seniors and free internet. Wow. That third cluster is true deliciousness. Now, let's look at it right now. Immigration reform. I got it in there. Uh, school meals for all. Cheaper prescription medication. The money for the farmers. The money for the free internet. The money for the independent contractors. And the money for the seniors. The seniors is a Medicare expansion. House versus Senate. Let's look at the house. They got in there the hearing and the Lower and the Medicaid gap fix. The Senate has vowed to add three other provisions are in there, which are dental, vision, and lowering the eligibility age of Medicare, which is part of the course of what we're looking at when we talk about MSC. MSC is a body of legislation, which those senators have been talking about since earlier this year, and it refers to multiple IRS stimulus check. The reason why we use the word MSC is because there are multiple checks in this recon, lots of them, pay at least $15,000, but we only get confused. So we refer to it as MSC or IRS stimulus checks. Back in the month of May, those legislators told thousands of viewers this channel, it's going in there. And we advocated for its inclusion. And then two weeks ago, the legislation landed in the Senate and it was time to pick up the phone and re-advocate because now the ball is in their court. And you did, and you did a great job. Janet picked up the phone and spoke to Chris, to Chuck Schumer's office and told it was going in there and was told it's going in there via Bernie Sanders. Same message was delivered to Donnie and his wife Sharon from the incredible Ron Wyden's office. Then the news continued to come in from Liz Warren's office saying the same thing to Bonnie. And then Lynn Glenn got the same confirmation from Chris Kuhn's office while Tyrone got the same confirmation from uh, Tyrell got the same confirmation from Casey's office, Bob Casey. When you're talking about that MSC, they're talking about same eligibility as a third stimulus check, seventy-five thousand less, got it. Married couple, hundred fifty thousand less, got it. Double it. Family of four, got it. Quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, real benefits, you get it as well. It is not income. It's not taxable, and it goes out to adult dependents. It goes into every state across the country, and there you go. That's why it's important for you to advocate for its inclusion, because now we're at the finish line. We're at the edge of the finish line. The legislators have received more than 8 million calls from you. It was initially 3 million. It continues to grow, and you need to say why you need it. Do not use the word MSC. Use, MSC, use simple words. They now have a total between congressional senators' office to receive more contacts of advocacy from the LA Purple Power than the number of signatures in the American petition. Everyone's amazed by the outpouring of touching stories. Now they have a better understanding of what Americans are going through during this pandemic. They have heartbreaking stories on the voice of the people across the nation, you ally, as you have become too loud to be ignored. Please continue your advocacy until this becomes law. And who do you advocate to? Let's go over who you advocate to right now. Casey, Coons, Warren, Wyden. Sanders and Schumer advocate for its inclusion. Again, here they are. You want to reach out to Casey, Coons, Warren, Wyden, Sanders, and Schumer. 
Meantime, you also want to advocate for your wallet, and that involves getting the money available from Third Stimulus. It's paying out money right now. You don't have to wait for anything for Fourth Stimulus. Third Stimulus is available right now. Viewers on average cashing $5,000 checks. This is the Christmas Stimulus. This is the Holiday Stimulus. This is freeing up money. This is giving them money to go buy holiday gifts. How do you get this money? A lot of it. It's coming up in just a minute. And the final five minutes of the video, I'm going to show you how the money continues to grow. We're going to go over the incredible programs in this recon. The Senate changes that are happening. With the Senate parliamentarian likely to rule today on the fate of several provisions, the passage of the recon by Christmas or the passage of the recon by the end of December, what are the details, what are the breaking news on this early morning's broadcast about the JoJo negotiations? Those details and more as we go into the second half of this video. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as the excitement continues on Early Morning's Allied. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now in Early Mornings LA as Third Summers is paying out big checks today. And you're going to get those checks. I'm going to show you how to get more of it if you've already gotten some in the last two weeks. It's on average $5,000. But we're going to turn back to that Fourth Summers recon, getting passed with $15,000 of checks in there. The Senate changes. And when that voting will happen, uh, the latest details, it's brand new, totally different, and totally fluid this morning on Early Mornings LA. We'll go over that soon, loan death. Forgive us the latest details on that. Plus the breaking details on what's going on with this stimulus. And the Federal Reserve speaks. I have the final announcement of what the Federal Reserve to end had to end the year and where it's going with this economy. Oh boy, I guess I got that one right again. <laughs> Only thing I got wrong is where my bacon is. <laughs> Those details are more coming up in the second half of this video. And with that, I want you part of this incredible family. So go into this video right now and subscribe. I want you part of this incredible family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes. Consider becoming a member and also sign up for the membership so that you get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday. Meantime, sign up for the LA Alerts, which is totally free. It's under the link to the description of this video. If you want to get an alert as soon as the video goes live, it also sends you alerts when the newsletter comes out Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And with that, let's go into the deliciousness as we start a big early morning broadcast right now. Well, so much happening across the board with the JoJo, uh, Chuck, Raphael, and all those twists and turns. Let's go over all the details across the board. Uh, there's a lot happening, folks. First, I need you to promise yourself two things. One, when you watch the videos in the next 14 days, bring a pen and paper and take notes on all these checks because this is where all your big money is. I want you to pounce and get it first come, first serve as a Purple Hawk as soon as it comes live. But also promise yourself you watch every single video throughout its entirety over the next 14 days because the situation is very fluid. Last night, I delivered the details on Evening Delight about what happened in the JoJo negotiations the day before. Uh, or, or that day. Joe Manchin and Joe Biden had negotiations before Summer's Recon. Now, you may be saying uh, negotiations. <laughs> the voting is about to start any second. Let's go over the nuances of dates. Of course, back in July, Chuck Schumer said the recon would pass and, be, and pass by the Senate by the end of July. 
He never called the vote because he thought he didn't have enough votes. Remember, if you call a vote and a bill for a vote, you do not have a vote, it fails. It's over. It's gone. So he made changes. In recent months and weeks, they've made changes again. And two weeks ago, uh, Chuck Schumer came out and said, hey, we're passing the recon by Christmas. Now, there's been two versions of his quote. The first quote is, the recon will pass the Senate by Christmas. The second quote is, the recon will become a law by Christmas. They're slightly different. Let me show you why. To pass just the Senate, you need about three days. One day for a Senate floor vote, one two days for a Senate vote Rama, done, three days. To pass into law, you're going to go back to the House for a quick vote. That's an extra day you're going to add on at least. That's four days. So when has he always said he's going to start the voting? He wrote that letter. I mean, I could flip to it. I don't think I need any more props. I can certainly flip to it. And he wrote that letter, you know, uh, about uh, three days ago, four days ago. And he said the vote would start this coming Monday. So that was what he said. Here's the letter. He said the vote would start this coming Monday. And, uh, you know, I'm holding into his word. So if the vote started this coming Monday and Christmas is Friday the 24th and they work Monday through Friday, they got enough days to make it a law. <laughs> they have enough days to make it a law because five days, you need four days to make it a law of voting. If he just wants to have it passed in the Senate, he has a lot of time. He has three days and a five-day work week. So there's enough days to get it to law. It's tight, though. But it's enough days to certainly pass the Senate, and then the, the, the House would the Senate the House would pass it shortly thereafter. In the last week, I've been saying on camera that I believe that it's going to become law in the month of December. Maybe not before Christmas, but in the month of December. Why? Because three analysts believe three different prongs are at issue. One, uh, political analysts agreeing with me are both. Uh, conservative Republicans and liberal Democrats saying the recon's becoming a law in December. Very rare you have both sides of the spectrum agree upon this. We have the top of legislators, long-standing, pragmatic, intellectual, educated senators or Democrats saying it's going to become a law in December because it can't roll over into January. Several key provisions that the Democrats think that there are big wins for them. They don't want them to expire. I'm going to explain this a little bit better than I have before. The midterm elections, of course, next year. And the Democrats think certain things they did in third stimulus were life-changing, like uh, the earned income tax credit, the CTC, the child tax credit. Those provisions are set to expire in just a few weeks. Now, the way fourth stimulus is written is that it continues them from not expiring. And the way you continue them is you make fourth stimulus law mid to late December. So those senators like Tim Kaine that know what they're doing say, we're not going to let these things expire because this is our big wins of 2021. We're not going to just let our big wins just fall apart. And then finally, the, the real surprise, which was that private meetings from Mitch McConnell and Chuck Schumer since before October, we just found out a few days ago, in which they said we're going to have no more procedural battles. Everything's going to be procedurally bipartisan. That's why the debt ceiling limit is done. That is why the uh, the defense bill is done. And that's why this is all that's left to be done. So everything looks fine, doesn't it? It does, but here is what, as a news reporter, you never like to see. You never like to see me reporting to you over two weeks ago that the Democrats are not going to give us big debriefings about their twists and turns of the negotiations every hour on the hour uh, in the last next two weeks because they don't want to do that anymore. So we don't have as much fluid information as we know about what's going on. But yesterday there were negotiations between Joe Manchin and Joe Biden. And insiders, which we're relying upon, which is not that helpful, insiders say the negotiations didn't go well did not go well, that they are no better, closer today than they were two months ago or three months ago. Joe Manchin, when asked about it, denied it, um, but then would not get clarity as about what the situation was. White House denied it, but also said, wouldn't say what the situation is. So we don't know. Um, then there's the Raphael Warnock equation, which is much of a non-equation. Raphael Warnock is just a junior senator in his first term, and he thinks that the recon good should be done in January, not in December, and thinks the Senate should to take up another body of legislation to vote on that, the voting rights provision, before the recon. Needless to say, he doesn't determine when we vote on things. He's Raphael Warnock. He's been there for about six months. Uh, so, you, you know, eight months. You haven't been there very long. You don't get to determine anything. Just a little too opinionated for me, you know, across the board. Uh, so is there anything to be worried about? 
the, the, the thing to be concerned about is why is the president still negotiating at the 11th hour? Here's a little bit of commentary. I usually don't put this early in the video, but I want to start it right now. I got the quotes. The quotes are on set here, because why? The quotes are only two weeks ago. The Maisie Hirono, Democrat senator out of uh, Hawaii, and the Dick Durbin quote out of Illinois. How do I remember all this? I just Sometimes I don't know how I remember all this. There was all those quotes where they said, you got to just call the vote. You can't just keep on talking about this and negotiating. Maybe it's going to fail. Maybe it's going to pass. Just call the vote and see what happens. And that is my campaign right now. Hashtag Chuck call the vote. Hashtag Chuck call the vote. I mean, we can't keep on waiting around to see whether it's going to pass or not. It's going to pass. If it doesn't pass, then you try it over again, start over brand new next year. Because guess what? I mean, if you don't try it, you don't have anything. And if you do try it and it fails, well, then you're going to do it again in January. So I don't see the real burden of not calling the vote as promised by, uh, by December 24th. Let's go over those incredible checks across the board. I'll have more commentary about that, as if it was not enough in the final five minutes of this video, plus show you how to get more money. But that recon has a lot of money in there. That is without a question. And those checks average about $15,000 out the door, but maybe upwards of $60,000. The first provision that got in there is the paid leave. It's a lot of money. $700 a week if you make $70,000 or more per year. $800 a week if you make $35,000 or more per year, approximately, and then $400 a week if you make $50,000 or more per year. How many weeks up to four weeks per year? Yeah, so this is five to $6,000 on, uh, on the high end. All income levels, all types of workers. And if you don't work but live with your son or daughter, they take off from work once a week, then they're going to get the check for the household. They got the... the a salt cap raised up, $10,000 raised up to $72,500 of what you can deduct in state and local taxes on the federal tax return. They got $40 billion of free job training in there. Great news because millions of Americans want to learn that, uh, that new job to get a higher paying job. And then we have the Medicaid gap fix, really helpful to so many Americans. There's a workaround plan that Democrats are putting in there to provide years of subsidized private insurance to low income, low income uninsured people in those 12 states where the Democratic, where the Republican governors vowed to never pay for all Obamacare. And then we get to really the best provision of higher recon is $150 billion for housing. This is your money. This is your big day. Six provisions, a lot of cash. The first three are new. Home repairs, weatherize your home, and first-time home purchases. More about that in a second. But the other three provisions are continuation from third stimulus. And they are rent, utilities, and mortgage assistance. And the great news is you don't have to wait for four symbols to become law. You can get this money right today. And boy, have viewers done this well. And this is the big success story. In the last two weeks, viewers have averaged out about uh, $5,000 from this for four to six months of rent on average and two utilities. So get your pen and paper ready. We're going to go over all these big sums of money starting right now. And we're going to take it back to December 2020. December 2020, we were at the end of first stimulus, and it was the holidays, and we were waiting for second stimulus to become a law. It was not becoming law yet, and you needed cash for the holidays. So I had already gotten viewers $25 million from EIDL loans. I know how to get people money. And I said, let's go get some rent and utilities. And I showed you. And viewers got it. I got viewers a quarter million dollars at the time. I showed you at the time that if you have $1,000 in your pocket, that's your rent for this month to pay the landlord. What if you don't have to take the money out of your wallet because someone else paid the money to the landlord? Someone else paid your landlord's bill this month. Then the $1,000 stays in your wallet and now it can be reallocated to, for example, holiday gifts. You can now use some of that money for holiday gifts, holiday meals, holiday trips. Yeah, that's how we did it. And at the time, I really made a big difference in people's lives, they told me. Like Tyrone, his family four out of Boston got $15,000 changed this entire holiday season. At the same time, a body of legislation was coming out, and we were I was looking at it and giving you an exclusive preview. No one really else had it yet. And I said, I'm going to call it third stimulus. I coined the expression. I said, there's a $1,400 stimulus check in there. Okay. But I can get you about $15,000 from this, third, from, this fourth, from this third stimulus. I said, when it becomes law, you want to pounce because the first come, first serve as a purple hawk. Pounce. Hawk, hawk. And get it before anyone else because it's diminishing funds. That was before there was a, an emoji or a membership. It was called the Purple Hawk Pounce. 
And boy, did you do well. Because once it became a law, you got an average $45,000 from this incredible recon. You delivered the skills you had learned from the prior of December into this third stimulus recon. But what happened two weeks ago? You and I were looking at the situation. We don't, we talk cold turkey here. And I said, clearly, you know, there is no way you're going to get four stimulus in your hand before Christmas. They would have had to make it a law in, in, December, in November. So I need to get your money again. <laughs> And where do we get it? Third stimulus. They were so surprised when they heard this. Third stimulus, we had two reactions. Either a viewer got it before and thought they couldn't get it again because it, they, they're not allowed to, which you are. That's not true. And then two, viewers who had never gotten it thought it was used up of money because it's been so many months. Neither was the case. And boy, you have done well. In the last two weeks, countless viewers have gotten on average $5,000. The low has been on about the $2,000. The high has been about $1,000. 38, 138,000. And it is for rent and utilities. Let's go over the big sums of money right now. Get that pen paper out. And if you're a member, get that newsletter out in front of you. And we're going to go over the big checks right now. And we're going to look at that rent. When we look at the rent, look at those numbers. Now, that was three months ago. It's grown a lot since then, folks. It's upwards of $40,000. Incredible. So you can reach out to six places to get this incredible sums of money. Are you ready? Take note. Here we go. You're going to reach out to your city hall, city house authority, county hall, county house authority, state hall and state house authority. And the keywords are going to say are rent assistance because of COVID. Rent or mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. Three must, you must do. You must reach out to all six places. Number two, you must get applications on file everywhere. Number three, you must get multiple rounds. So if you got one round early this year, get another round today. If you got one round yesterday, get another round today. How do you do this? Well, if you got paid October to December yesterday, go to another organization and get January, February, tomorrow morning. Do the same thing for that mortgage assistance. Let's look at the utilities. Wow. Mark's brother in law is getting $15,000. Reach out to all utility companies that you have, and it's utility assistance because of COVID. Snap. If you got a third stimulus check, you should not be paying for your own food. Get on SNAP. It's you get it from the Department of Agriculture. And boy, does it pay a lot. Mark's brother in law is getting $25,000 a year. It is a quarter million dollars he's getting for the, this channel over the next 10 years. I've gotten countless viewers, $220,000 a year. Then the combos came in. Came in. Art Sullivan and Nisi got three arms, and I would tell viewers, get three arms or more like Art and Nisi did. Mark was at two at 32. I said, Mark was your third. He got his third, bringing him to $50,000. Now Mark has continued to get more items, and now he's over $100,000 across the board. Meantime, let's turn to the incredible story about Johnny, because Johnny truly embodies where we're going with this money, third, fourth, across the board. First, let me tell you what's happened with other viewers. In the last two, in the last 10 days, one viewer got $40,000 of rent, just rent. And another viewer got $138,000 for his entire family from Third Sims. I like to turn to Johnny. Johnny started by watching these videos on this channel about two weeks ago. And he started on a Monday with $0. By Wednesday, he had gotten three programs approved and about $45,000, a lot of money. Now, what's great about part one of the story is he had seven programs approved. To get seven programs approved, he didn't make seven phone calls. Didn't make seven phone calls. He had to have made 15 phone calls because you're getting about a 50% rejection rate on the phone. It's just par for the course. And how much did he get in five days? $80,000. It's huge. Then part two of Johnny's incredible story got even better. The following Monday, he reached out to his family. His family and said, I got $8,000 last week from LA. They said, I've heard about him. Did you bring him his bacon? <laughs> he said, no, uh, but I'll show you how to get the money. They said, how come we haven't heard about this on Broadcast Media? They said, they don't cover it. He covers it. Let me show you how to get the money. And he did. By the end of the week, they each became believers. They each also got $50,000 out the door. Part three of Johnny's incredible story continues when I was watching Sunday Night Football two Sundays ago and got a private message from Johnny. So people kept on coming over. They kept on coming over and asking me what I was doing. I told them, they said, can you help me with that as well? I did. And so he said, we'd watch your videos, Alite. They'd become subscribers. They'd listen. We'd go over it. And I showed 32 people how to get the money. How much money to get them? $80,000. So if you haven't become a member, go right on this video right now and hit that membership link and become a member of this incredible channel so you get all these incredible sums of money. That membership newsletter goes out Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube and the LA Alerts. That features stuff in this video and features stuff not in this video that's only in the membership newsletter. For example, it features 
lists six places you reach out to the keywords you say, and it also features the three musts. But it also features stuff not covered in this video, like the five nonprofits, the one nonprofit that helps with home repairs, and it also features the statement from Treasury, which is important to read because it details how to get this money and what this money's for. So when you make the phone call, you have a better understanding of the situation across the board. And with that, consider becoming a member and let's turn back into that incredible recon and those checks that are in there that you're ready to pounce as a Purple Hawk to get. This is the continuation of forced stimulus. Now, at that forced stimulus, we were talking about the housing provisions. So those housing provisions of the three that are new are the home repairs. This will be for a low-income community. The weather rise in your home all types of homes, and then the first-time home purchase. This would be money given from the government to the seller at the time of escrow in your name. They got $150 billion in there for home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. That is incredible. They got in there the incredible $550 check of the Pell Grant for my college students, and then they got in there the $12,500 the for the purchase, purchase of a new electric vehicle. This is huge, but then we got $65 a month for children for nutrition when they are not at school. Then we get to the best provision of this entire recon, which is the cheaper medical insurance. That cheaper medical, excuse me, cheaper medicine. I always butcher that, cheaper medicine. And this is the most expensive medication out there. It is the Medicare Part D, Medicare Part B. 20 medications on day one be covered by this. Dropping them dramatically in price, like a dose of insulin going from $1,000 to $35 a, do a dose, and then growing to 30 medications by the year 2028. They cannot increase more than the rate of inflation. If they do, there's a penalty provision in the recon. Uh, penalty provision? <laughs> you can't do a penalty provision in the recon. So says Pat Toomey, the GOP senator. And guess what? I got to agree with him on this one. His position is it cannot pass muster with a Senate parliamentarian. Well, we're going to see what survives with her potentially today. Hopefully today. Let's go over the details. Well, that provision is likely coming out. Immigration reform will likely coming out. She already said it can't go in there. And then the paid leave. We shall see. Now, this is another one of those moments where I want to say, what's going on here? I mean, really, what is going on here? She has had this recon since May. She's had the final drafts of the recon from Chuck Schumer, per his letter I just showed you earlier in this recording, since last week. And so she said she's going to get it last week and this week. So when is her ruling coming down? Because she's going to rule what stays in the recon and goes out of the recon. It's a little bit more complicated than that. Because if she says a program comes out, like paid leave, then the money is still in the recon. Where does it get reallocated? Well, you're going to have to have quick meetings by all your 50 Democratic senators overnight saying, we have an extra $150 because this program got out. What are we going to put it to? Very, very, you know, very, very time crunchy situation and not crunchy like crisp, like, like deliciously crunchy, time crunch-ish uh, at the moment. And I would assume Schumer would say something like, uh, yeah, I have this, I have this ready to go. Not very clear across the board. When you look at this graphic, $15,000, yeah, there's more than $15,000 of checks in this more stimulus recon. There's everything from third stimulus, that's $45,000 that's continued, and the new programs and the add-ons. So it's clearly about $50,000, $60,000. Meantime, what are those other checks that recon you need to know about? Well, let's go over those right now. We have the universal pre-kindergarten, three to four-year-olds in there. We have in there the nutrition, the Pell Grant, and also the housing. Those are all brand new, but the three provisions that are continuing are the CTC, the Earned Income Tax Credit, and the care checks for young children. Now, here's the real problematic situation at the point. Is the president and the Democrats really are proud of those third stimulus provisions? You got it. We all understand this. This is what they're going to go into the midterm election saying. This is a great body of law. Best thing we've seen in millions of years, and we uh, got it to you. So there was a lot of quotes yesterday says the president's not worried about timelines. Uh, I don't buy it. I'm sorry, I don't buy it. Because these are provisions they absolutely do not want to say, I gave it to you for you know eight months, and that was it. Thank you so much. And they expired because we couldn't take care of it because we had problems in, in, party fighting, in party fighting. No, I, I really do think they have to get it done. They can't let them expire because these are their crown royales before the midterm elections. 
And to get them from non-expiration, it's mid-December to late December. So we're right on the cusp of getting them done. And there you go. I'm more about that commentary later in this video, but let's turn to that student loan debt forgiveness and this stimulus. So there's an offer to forgive $10,000 of student loan debt. This follows the previous student loan debt done by the White House. The White House previously became student loan debt for individuals who became disabled after graduation. People went to work in the nonprofit sector after graduation. And people went to work in the public sector after graduation. What about that fist stimulus and that COLA raise? First, your benefits are income. And so when COLA comes in at a 5.9% raise of your benefits automatically on January 1, you're making 5.9% more income. Okay, so if you're making more income, your SNAP obviously will go down. You ain't going to go down a lot, so don't be melodramatic about this. It went, your, your benefits, excuse me, your SNAP went up an average of 25% in October. So you're already up 25% overall. You're not going to go down more than 5.9% at most with this color raise. Then how about Fistimus? Fistimus is right behind that and says basically COLA doesn't work. So we want to raise your benefits up one big time, buy a new benchmark, and, up, and that would be inflation and remove the income cap and remove the marriage penalty across the board. Meantime, what happened with the Federal Reserve yesterday? What is the reaction to it? And was it exactly as I predicted or slightly different? Let's go over the analysis before I go into my final five minutes of commentary into, in this morning's early morning's broadcast. I had predicted the Federal Reserve would taper quickly and have two interest rate spikes, the first one in Q1 2021. Well, was I right on both fronts? I was right on the first. It is tapering faster. And on the second one, the Federal Reserve said, we're not going to decide just yet. I'm not going to tell you which, one way, which way we're going. But the Federal Reserve says, we must first taper first before we spike. So the spike may not come in Q1, may come at late Q1 or early Q2. But a lot of insiders reading the exact words of the Fed from yesterday believe the Fed is basically giving us a signal that there's going to be not two inflationary, not two spikes next year, as I'm predicting, but three. Yeah. So I came in with a sort of aggressive prediction, and I guess it was a little bit even more aggressive than I thought. What was the reaction? Wall Street up, crypto up. Now, this is very fascinating. Crypto is viewed as a bet against inflation. So the reason why crypto would be up is because the Fed did not come in and raise interest rates right off the bat, which would have brought inflation down. So it's leaving inflation hot. And if inflation is hot, you're going to buy crypto. Same theory over on, 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 internet, on, on uh, stocks. As stocks remained relatively strong, not, not robust, but good, up uh, on the news because you would get out of stocks into bonds if the Fed immediately raised interest rates. Pretty obvious across the board. We're going to monitor more about the reaction today as we have the first full day of trading after this news that came in from the Fed yesterday. And with that, let me go over my big commentary as we go into the big minutes of this early morning's broadcast. A lot to talk about. I'm going to, have to zoom through it because there is a lot. Plus, I have some additional money for you to get and viewers have gotten already. First... There sometimes is a disconnect that viewers seem to forget. And there's always, always the possibility the recon doesn't even pass. And people just always think of it as my check or no, or no my check. No, no, there's a bigger equation than that. A recon or no recon at all. And if the Maisie Hirono, the Dick Durbins of the world have their say, and, and probably what I would do as well is just call the vote, and the, and the recon fails, then there's no money to anyone. Do I think that event's going to happen? No, but I'm more equally concerned that the vote's never been called. Now, we're going to stay as a nail biter throughout this weekend. And you need to watch, you need to watch those weekend shows, folks. Because guess what? We're going to get and sense very quickly, because the broadcast media is going to ask him, is Chuck calling the voting starting Monday? He's given that date enough. They all know the date, the broadcast media. They're going to book whatever center they can for the talk radio, talk TV shows on Sunday morning, Saturday morning, and say, is Chuck calling the vote on Monday? Well, I don't know. Well, have you asked him? Well, what if he doesn't call the vote? Yeah, so we can see all this sort of build up, and we need to see the guidance if that vote is called up. If he doesn't call the vote, I just think it's, I just don't think it's a good move. I think he really should call the vote and just get it moving along. Then. What's important for you to know is that will 
for stimulus, for stimulus, get any money in your wallet before Christmas? Obviously not. I mean, there's no way to get money from for stimulus in your wallet before Christmas. Is there any way for for stimulus to get money in your wallet before New Year's Eve? Yeah, it's pretty tight. Number three, when we get close to the finish line, you know what happens all the time. As soon as you get past the finish line, people start showing up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when the rich uncle dies, all these cousins show up you never saw before. Who are you? I'm here to collect my check. When's it going to land in my bank account? I was his favorite cousin. You're not even related. <laughs> yeah. They all just sort of show up. Uh, and it, it's already starting, folks. So I want you to know what's important is that the donut tree, <laughs> not the universe, is going to start showing up. Uh, are there checks in the recon? Yeah, there's lots of checks. Are there checks for me? Yeah, there's lots of checks for you. And I've seen some just ridiculous questions the last 24 hours, just like you would tell us about as we're near the finish line. Someone showed up and said, are the realists giving us any money to any Americans in this recon? No. They're not giving anything to anyone. It's $2 trillion it's called the social spending bill. Who are they spending it socially on? The metaverse? <laughs> of course, there's money for you. It's $2 trillion of money for you. And then there's going to be someone who says, well, there's no money for me. There's money for the person next door to me. Oh, my goodness. And there's going to be the SSI, um, I'm the SSI victims that always say, they don't give any money for SSI. Yeah, there's money in there for SSI. There's money for in there, whether you're SSI or not SSI. And those people will start to show up. Now, I don't want you to be cluttered, distracted, or annoyed that the donut tree of the world starts to show up. More importantly, I want to focus on this example because I think this is the more permeating example, the one that will hit you the hardest. And it's a great example. It came in from a viewer on a live show two days ago. She wants to talk to her neighbor every day. She loves her neighbor to death, loves her to death. And she wants to talk about this. Her neighbor doesn't want, to, doesn't want to watch the videos. Her neighbor doesn't know about what these videos cover. And so the, the viewer tries to have conversations about this with the neighbor. And the neighbor's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. So sorry, I can't talk about this. And this, I think, is going to be a very common occurrence in 2022. It's going to be a very, very common occurrence. You're going to know about this recon. You're going to know about all the checks this recon. You're going to be cashing the checks in this recon. You're going to know how the programs work, the eligibility. You're going to be cashing the money. And you're going to try to have a conversation, you know, over over the dinner table with someone else that didn't do it. And they're going to be like, there's nothing in there for anyone. I haven't seen this on Tucker Carlson. Yes, someone said that. I haven't seen Tucker Carlson talk about uh, you getting help from the Democrats. Oh, oh what a surprise. Why would he cover that subject matter? Uh, so you're going to see that thing. And what I want you to understand is you should not feel guilty. People who do not want to educate themselves, the way they become passive aggressive is to um, make you uncomfortable when you are educated. You've taken the time to learn the videos. You've taken the time to learn about the programs. You've taken the time to learn about the checks. And you're ready to write down all the checks that you want in this recon. You're ready to bring those questions on camera. Ask those questions to me. me to me, I'm going to answer those questions back in our new show on this channel. And you're ready to pounce and get that money as soon as it becomes law. The reaction to that from someone who doesn't want to spend one time doing that, one minute spending that time, is going to be, why is he getting money and not me? <laughs> I mean, that's basically the reaction. Why is that person getting money and not me? Because that person took the time to learn about the programs. You didn't do take a time. But I need the money. Yeah, but you don't want to take the time to learn about the money. And they will become passive aggressive. It's just sort of par for the course. There is also these sort of, Steve Bannon is my patron saint, people. <laughs> I had to come up with an expression for them. You know who they are. <laughs> You did no other way to describe them. Uh, they have, you know, for the for the Christmas meal, they have dishes and flatware all with Steve Bannon's um pictures on them, and he has a halo above his head. Yeah, that's that's uh, uh, this the, they you know the yeah uh they're those people think that there's nothing for anything for anyone or anyhow yeah so those people are gonna be flown around to their their altered universe that's what they, and I'm not referring to the metaverse I'm talking about their altered universe that's what they don't like to do um but what I want you to do is not worry about that as it comes to you 
you've taken the time to learn yourself to learn about stuff on this video this channel has always been a how-to informational educational video channel it always will be a news layer a new show this will always be that way and it will never go another direction despite how many other people despite whatever a particular donut person wants to do on a particular day i press record on day one of this channel to tell you oh i like this example just came to my head i'm going to use this a lot i press record on day one of this channel to tell you why you had not gotten your eidl loan and to show you how to get your eidl grant or eidl loan how to receive the money it was a how-to informational video i did not have donut people at the time but trust me if i did i would have kicked them to the curb what a donut person would have said to eidl is when is that eidl grant landing in my bank account well no it didn't land i mean <laughs> the law said it was supposed to pay out to you in three days so by the fourth day it didn't land so do you think maybe it's not landing because you did something wrong yeah but i don't want to learn so we didn't have that. We didn't have that problem back in, in the ideal days. People understood there was a problem. They had to do something. They understood they had to learn something. Uh, when we turned to third stimulus, um, when we turned to third stimulus, suddenly these donut trees came around. And guess what? As soon as fourth stimulus becomes, you know, front page news on broadcast media, once again, they're going to be showing up saying, when am I getting it? How much am I getting? It? Where am I getting it? Where's the land in my bank account? Are, 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 are older people who have um, pierced earrings getting it? Are younger people with one pierced ear getting it? I mean, just these questions that come on in. And you want to say, yeah, there's $15,000 of checks. What? I understand this. What? <laughs> so I want you to learn. I want you to promise yourself two things across the board. Number one, bring a pen and paper and write it down, the check in the four stimulus recon you like. And then you hear another one, write it down as well. Write down all the checks you want to pounce as a Purple Hawk because it's first come, first serve. I want you to write your questions that you may have. How does this eligibility work? Paid leave, who do I get the paid leave from? Drop your questions because I'm going to answer them live on air. Number two, don't miss a single video on the hour, by the hour, across this channel over the next 14 days because provisions are going to fall apart. They're going to go out, they're going to come back in, they're going to grow, they're going to shrink, and there's going to be someone that says, shows up and says, whatever happened to the dolphin sauce provision <laughs> i had to say something uh whatever happened to the um the battered lobster provision uh it got battered <laughs> i didn't survive uh sorry it was a short-term death so yeah there's, <laughs> there's some provisions that are gonna get battered uh whether they're fishy or not fishy and i don't want you to miss that across the board meantime join me next on morning's countdown currently uh coming up next and then mornings ally early mornings ally live on air early mornings ally at at four o'clock but overnight's crypto which is now about the metaverse currently playing on this channel it's a great show and boys it's really popular it's a revamped show of overnight's crypto now focused seen on the metaverse join me as that show is currently playing this video will automatically take you there but first subscribe go under this video and subscribe I'll like this video two three thousand likes you consider becoming a member stay informed stay focused have a beautiful early morning and stay i like for more